Welcome back to Bonnie Garage Barbecue. Today we're doing something a little bit different. We're doing a competition on YouTube called Barbecue Pitmasters of YouTube. There's 20 different channels that are involved in this one here. I'm one of them. What we did is we took the 20 teams, threw them on a random wheel, spun it, and it picked one person and then it picked another. I was paired up with Kent from Daddy Dutch Barbecue. I'm gonna leave a link to his channel down below. When we're done picking everybody teamed up there, paired up, we also spun the wheel again for a protein. Me and Kent got whole chicken. It doesn't matter how we do this whole chicken, we can grill it, we can smoke it, we can cube it up, we can skewer it. I'm throwing it on the El, El Charo rotisserie, I'm gonna take it for a spin. I'm gonna do some holy holy chicken that's gonna knock your socks off. And when you're done, the best thing about it is the viewer, you, can pick the winner. All you can do is go over to Smokey Joe's Pit Barbecue to his community tab. He's gonna have every single team listed down over there and who they're paired against. You choose who you like. Watch all their videos, subscribe to all their channels. I'll leave a link to all them down below and one lucky viewer is gonna win a Yoda YS 640S, similar to the one I have. You ready to do this? Let's go! All right, let's get our chicken split up here. We got a four pound bird. Just gonna flip it over, follow along the backbone here. Removing the backbone. A little stuck in the skin, not a problem. Discard the backbone. Whatever mess you got going on in there. Find the center here. Just come down right on it. And there you go. That simple, that easy. I'll get the other one going, we'll be back. All right, let's make up our quick brine. Four cups cold water. One cup of soy sauce. I got three cloves of garlic minced up and a half a teaspoon of Hawaiian sea salt. Get it all in there. We got some ginger out of the tube. Probably about a teaspoon or so. That should be good. And we're just gonna get everything moving together here. I'm gonna get my chicken in Ziploc bags. Dump the brine up in there. Try to figure out how to get this chicken up on a skewer. I'm thinking about going under a leg here. Maybe through the thigh. Get skin down a little bit. Right about there. Probably pin that skin back a little bit. I'm gonna tie that wing up right there. That should work right there. I'll get the other ones going. We'll meet you out in the El Charo. All right, let's get our chicken going. You can see I put a little bit of butcher's twine there. Hold that wing down, hold the leg in a little bit. I'm gonna slide them off on the upper deck here. Just like that. 
hit the gas and go. We'll let these go probably for about 10 minutes or so. We'll be back, we'll check on them. All right, let's throw together our holy holy glaze. I got two and a quarter cups of pineapple juice into a preheated pan. Next, we're gonna be going four tablespoons. Four tablespoons of brown sugar. Four tablespoons, I'm using liquid amino, so you can use soy sauce. If you can use soy sauce, go with like a lower sodium. About four tablespoons. Right about there. Four tablespoons of ketchup. Four tablespoons of rice wine vinegar. Right about there. I got four cloves of garlic, minced up. I got that ginger paste. I'm gonna go two tablespoons. Right about there. I'm gonna give it a little whack of sriracha. Just for a little spice, nothing much. This is optional. You don't want it, don't do it, you'll be fine. So I'm gonna stir this up a little bit here. We're gonna get this on a simmer. We're gonna let it go for about 20 to 30 minutes. We're gonna let it reduce down and thicken up a little bit for us. Just keep stirring once in a while. We'll bring you back. All right, it's been about 25 minutes or so. As you can see, we've been simmering right along here. We've thickened up some. We're not trying to get it too crazy thick. I'm just gonna be using it as a glaze. I'm gonna shut it down, push it back, let it come together. We'll bring it back. All right, we're about 10 minutes into it. Starting to get a little bit of color here. I'm gonna toss them down the bottom. Let them roll down the bottom for a few. We'll keep a closer eye when they're on the bottom, obviously. You can always do this on the grill too. You don't have to do this on the rotisserie. Just keep turning them. Throw your heat off to one side, cook on the other side, throw them over the flames when you're ready. Remember to check out Kent's channel, Daddy Dutch Barbecue. We'll see what he's doing with the competition. Barbecue pit masses of YouTube. Hashtag it, follow everybody through. Go on to Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue. I'll leave a link down below. And then you go over there and you vote for who you think has the best video, the best cook. There's 20 of us in it. I'll leave everybody's name down the bottom. Check out everybody's video. While you're there, hit the subscribe button. Doesn't cost you anything. You see some crazy cooks going on, I guarantee it. All sorts of different proteins. Everybody just spun the wheel. We got what we were, what we were given, we had no choice of it. We'll check back in with this. Probably in about another 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna start heading up with our glaze. We'll be back. been about 10 minutes or so. It's starting to look pretty good. We're gonna start hanging it up with our glaze now. We're probably gonna move them back up top. The sugar in this glaze here might turn them real dark. They get too much heat. It's gonna get a nice color guaranteed though. Get both sides. Let's 
smell awesome already. One more on that side there. We'll just let these go for a while. Check out them in about another five minutes. We'll be back. All right, we're back. It's been about 20 more minutes. Had them up top, moving back down the bottom. Catching up some color. Gonna hit them one more time with a little bit of that glaze. They're almost at temp. They're right near 160. You're pulling them off soon, we'll let them rest. And then we'll bring you back. We'll give these bad boys a taste. All right, we're back, we're on the cutting board, and here's what we got. It is looking awesome. Can I take a taste of one? Let me grab a knife here. We'll go with this one here. juices there. Let's get a taste. You get some of that brine all the way through. That holy holy glaze. It's crazy. I'm gonna hit it up actually with a little bit more. And we'll toss a little bit of green onions on it too just for our effect. Let's get someone out with the glaze on it. That right there, it's damn good. That El Charo, rock that cookout right there. Remember, go over and check out Kent at Daddy Dutch Barbecue. See what he's putting together. He's also got a whole chicken. We're gonna have a throw down there. Head over to Smoker Joe's Pit Barbecue, go on his community tab, vote for everybody. Everybody's gonna be there. Watch everybody's video, check it out. It's gonna be some awesome stuff. Like I said, you see some crazy videos. There's a bunch of real good cooks in there. I'll tell you that. Hashtag barbecue pit masters of YouTube. Follow it, check everybody out. Thanks for watching, stay safe. Mm -hmm.